Today's video, we got a matchup with my man, Ant-Man. Uh, I think I've played this guy before, and uh, not sure. Maybe maybe I have, maybe I haven't, but I um, want to talk today about repetition. Um, I'm in the Super Bowl event, and this is actually, I mean, this is a kind of a W of an event. Uh, I like the fact that they're shorter, they're shorter quarters. Um, you get in and out a little quicker. And you can make a lot of coins in this mode. So, uh, but I want to talk about repetition and specifically, I want to talk about something that we talked about the other day in terms of improving your Madden game. And like I said, I, I want to spend the most of this, most of the video today, uh, talking about repetition. So repetition is kind of an interesting concept. If you think about what it actually is and repeating something is essentially wiring your brain to embed a specific action over and over and over again. That's what the purpose of repetition is, is you're trying to get your brain uh, to do the same thing every single time with the circumstances that the, of the inputs that you put into it. So as Gronk makes a crazy play. So the reason why this matters in, in terms of Madden and he's already out of the game. Oh my gosh, crazy. All right, we're back with another game here. And I got a quote for you on repetition. I was trying to find it. Um, this is by Jim Watkins, who's an author. And he says, a river cuts through rock, not because of its power, but because of its persistence. Uh, my mentor used to tell me a long time ago that water will cut a rock drip by drip by drip. And he was trying to embed in my head the importance of repetition and I do think there is a difference between uh, mindless repetition and intentional repetition, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But the idea is water dripping over rock, water dripping on a rock over an extended period of time can eventually eat through the rock, kind of similar to water dripping on snow and ultimately melting the, the snow. So the idea is consistency and repetition can make a you can make big strides if you consistently repeat the practice, right? Consistently repeat the practice. Now I'm going to take this to the NBA. Uh, first, I do think the NBA is honestly a little bit better of a representation of Madden. And we'll take you to Madden ultimately in just a second. But if you think about the NBA, they play 82 games a year plus playoffs. So they play a lot of games. And my, my, uh, or uh, Caitlin and I went to a, to a Bucks game and in the Bucks game, they were playing the, the Utah jazz and they ended up losing the game. What was interesting is they played the Utah Jazz on a back-to-back -back night. And so the back-to-back -back essentially was they played the Mavericks. I think that game was kind of a crazy game. Ended up going into overtime. Pretty sure the Jazz was able to win that game. But what was interesting is how it affected their performance the next day. And as you think about the NBA schedule, how this would affect any team's performance. So as far as how it uh, affected their performance the next day, they, if you think about it, the game probably got over about 1130 uh, or even midnight, and then they had to fly out. So maybe an hour to flight process. So they probably didn't get into the hotel uh, that they were staying at for in Utah until, I don't know what I would say, you know, again, obviously just all different numbers, not 100% sure. Obviously, they didn't call me and tell me, right? But, but I think it was you know, probably 2, 2.30 in the morning. So most pro basketball players typically tend to sleep uh, for a while. So probably between eight to nine hours of sleep time. That puts it uh, at about noon, and the game didn't start until, or the game started at 6 p.m. So now they only have six hours. And in those six hours, they probably did have a meeting where they went over some tendencies of the Jazz or a general game plan or guide uh, for the game. But probably kind of different than the NFL, right? You didn't have like a whole day for the coaching staff to meet and go over film. You didn't have um, a whole day to then communicate that film study analysis to the players. And you most certainly didn't have two days to practice your game plan before. So it got me thinking about how does NBA teams go about winning consistently and what is really the craft of the team and how they practice. And then I watched the pregame warmups. If you ever watch NBA pregame warmups, they're very similar. And basically the teams will come out and they will shoot um, specific shots over and over again. And typically this lasts probably about 15 to 20 minutes per player. And then obviously the team will go through their like basic layup line, stretching, all of that stuff. And that's kind of what they did. And so as I was thinking about this, 
the other day, seeing all this unfold, it got me thinking about repetition and how we can apply that same concept to Madden. So essentially, they're not preparing for the Utah Jazz per se. They're really just trying to execute their system as best as it possibly can. Basketball is a game where it's constantly in motion. There's not a lot of stops and starts uh, to the game. The game is like in general, uh, a lot of motion. There's other sports uh, where this uh, will cross apply as well. Sports such as tennis or pickleball, where you're playing a lot of tournaments or you're playing a lot of games um, when you're playing a tournament kind of thing. Same principles apply where you're kind of playing, uh, for lack of better word, as that was a crazy lurk from Big Harold. Um, you're kind of playing, for lack of better word, against yourself. You're kind of playing, like you're playing your opponent, but because you don't have enough time to actually like zone in on your opponent, you have to ultimately find a different way to be successful. And the way, or the unlock for that, is the repetition of your system, your offensive system, your defensive system. You basically are playing the same exact game again and again and again. Now in the playoffs, or as the stakes get higher and the gaps between the games become more, then yes, film study certainly applies. But in our context in Madden and just improving in general, a lot of it really comes down to repetition, repeating the same thing every single day. So kind of an interesting story, but basically this little story, uh, this guy went out into his backyard and he picked a spot on a tree and he hit it five times per day with an ax, okay? And then he just went on with his day. Now, the next day, he went out to the same tree, picked the exact same spot. This is the important part. He picked the exact same spot on the tree and he hit it five times again and then continued on his day. Repeated this every single day, same tree, same spot on the tree, same five hits. And then eventually, with repetition, the tree actually fell down. So again, the daily practice, it wasn't a lot in that one day, but it was the action of repeating it consistently over and over and over again. And really important, I think it kind of gets lost when we talk about repetition, it's not just repeating, like, it's not just repeating patterns. It's repeating the right patterns. So you have to hit the tree in the exact same spot. Had he hit it in a different spot, it probably wouldn't have fallen as fast. So the lesson is not just re repetition, but it's relentlessly repeating the same exact thing over and over and over again. Mike Leach is a huge uh, proponent of this. In fact, was, that's a crazy dot. I didn't know you could do that. Um, in fact, he was talking about their team and how they structure their practices in a way which allows them for the most amount of time of repetition. In fact, he's famous for literally one, he spent an entire practice one day running vertical routes. An entire football practice was devoted to literally just running go routes over and over and over again. The cool part about repetition is if it's done right, you learn how to repeat the same action regardless of the surrounding circumstance that is also critical if you think about madden in general that's what we have to be able to do we have to be able to run our plays against a variety of different defenses ultimately somebody can call a perfect defense for one play but if you think about it that perfect defense is going to leave other things vulnerable so the craft really becomes mastering the art of executing the skill again and again and again and doing the right thing over and over again. So you see here this play Durham. I'm going to look to the flat, not there. Look to the drag. I had it. Didn't throw the ball fast enough, you know, so I ended up getting sacked. But I did have something open. Again, the more you study your own film, the more you study the best players in the world, the more you realize missed reads is definitely a big uh, problem in Madden. And what if you could rep what if you could get so good at repetition that you almost never missed a read? Like you have truly run this one play against every possible thing they can do. And in that repetition, obviously you force them to actually have to put really good defense on the field. And then from there, it leaves a ton of other things open. To me, that is the real art of repetition. And really the goal of repetition is that 
you become so good at a play that it's just it's you you the circuitry is built in your brain that it's just simple it's almost artistic the way um, that the play works and develops and I believe uh, just off everything that I've researched in Madam you can basically if you master and I mean master five to ten plays with a couple constraint theory plays. You, that's all you really need to do on offense. And if you really study the film, that's why we've been doing a lot of film analysis lately. If you really look at some of the the MCS film of the best players in the world, they kind of run the same basic concept and they just get to it different ways. That's one thing. But then the other thing is, especially on the defensive side of the ball, if you watch how comp players or the best players in the world play defense, it's actually really simple. There's a lot of double flatting, cross manning, they make minor adjustments to a basic defensive concept. So they come into the game with a basic idea of how they want to defend Bunch, how they want to defend Bunch Strong, how they want to defend a lot of the formations you know that they know they're going to see. So a basic game plan. And then as the game goes on and they see different tendencies based off tendencies, they might start to adjust that game plan. Right, They might send five in certain situations. They might send four in certain situations. They might double flat when the ball is on a certain hash mark. Those are all little things that kind of come with repetition. You start to learn patterns, and you start to basically – this is where it kind of becomes a little bit more like chess where you have like a, a progression of moves that you're doing. You're, you're, you have a base defensive shell, and then you go into this covered shell and this covered shell, right? And a lot of the art form of that – is um, knowing when to basically when to do that uh, is certainly a certainly an art that needs to be mastered. But uh, as you can see here, I mean, defensively, you have a basic idea, and then you kind of adapt from it. If you look at my film room I did on TJ for defending trips tight end, we literally broke down the mainstay adjustments that he used, and it was almost identical every single time. There was a couple of variations there, and he actually held one of the best players in Madden. Uh, this year, a belt winning trips tight end player to relatively pedestrian numbers offensively uh, base and was also able to get a lot of stops in the red zone. So that concept is just illustrates again, the importance of execution, 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 repetition, 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 right? Um, you don't brush your teeth once a day or uh, once a year and expect to have clean teeth. You brush your teeth twice a day, every day, and then you have clean teeth. You have to do the practice again and again and again. This is why I say not Madden is 80% knowledge and then 20% skill. But the 20% skill is, in my opinion, the hardest thing to develop. I can give you the knowledge, which we do in our Patreon eBooks. All of our eBooks are fully optimized. We actually have had a ton of stuff on our Patreon before any other website that I'm aware of has had it. The knowledge has been there for a lot of people. And then this is the thing though. Now that's part A, but part B is actually going out and mastering the repetition, mastering the post-snap read, the three seconds where so much is decided in Madden. Um, you know, not missing reads is is so hard, uh, in my opinion, to consistently do. But again, you have to get better at it. You either get better at it or you don't. And the way you get better at it is through repetition. But I would say a little caveat, you need to be intentional with your repetition. And I think really slowing the game down uh, can really, really help significantly with this with this practice. Because what I like to do is when I'm in these head-to-head -head games, basically trying to almost go in slow motion and really think, okay, I've got this, and then I'm going to read here. Like I literally mentally walk myself through the route combo that I want to run uh, and then basically try to execute it at the highest level with the timing um, and, and all of those things factor in. But again, it, it really does come down to the cool part about head-to-head -head that you don't see a lot in comp Madden in head-to-head -head Madden, people will do some of the most random stuff you've ever seen. <laughs> they will literally call the most random offenses, the most random defenses, and you will get exposed to a lot of different ways in which somebody might play offense or somebody might play defense. And so because of that, it really does help if you're paying attention. If you actually are intentional in the repetition process, 
then it makes it all, it makes it matter so, so much more, right? You wouldn't go to practice and basically go on autopilot. If you did, it wouldn't really be practice, right? That is important. So uh, anyways, that's my big speech on repetition. How are you guys liking the game uh, at this point in the year? Obviously, it, it kind of changes uh, drastically. Uh, with the with the rise of these uh, pre-lit X factors, everybody's got these pre-lit X factors. There's also, um, I think, just in general, how do you like the meta this year? I actually feel like this is the best Madden has been since. Uh, it's th this is the best next gen Madden has been. Uh, I feel like what we're playing right now is by far the best next gen experience that I've personally had. Um, I just feel like it's a lot more enjoyable uh, to play this game on next gen so far. So. And I also feel like the thing I like about the abilities, and this is kind of what happened towards the end of last year, with everybody having pick artists and stuff, you actually catch interceptions most of the time. So, like that. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys want to check out my ebooks and all that stuff, they are linked down in the description below. Remember, repetition is the key to embedding whatever you want to embed in your brain.